with them mixing and matching. From what I read, you get um, better coverage, especially with the um, with the variants. Are you still nervous about mixing and matching COVID-19 vaccines? Well, I just got my second jab, as have many others who are sharing their experiences on the social media. And then there are those who are hoping to make up their mind by asking others for real life experiences, hoping to hear from those sharing their stories of side effects with the mix and match approach. My AstraZeneca dose on April 20th and uh, within about five, six hours of my vaccination, I was feverish, had chills, body aches. Uh, I was pretty much laid out in bed for, I think it was about 36 hours. And then I had my Pfizer as my second dose on Wednesday, and um, I had a bit of a sore arm, a little bit tired, but I wouldn't say really anything significant. While some had minor side effects, there were those who say mixing and matching vaccines landed them at the hospital, but doctors say that's not necessarily a bad thing. Some medical experts say mixing and matching vaccines can boost immunity, and the side effects are limited to only a few hours or a couple days. Uh, just get a second AstraZeneca, uh, which is, is, is a possibility, but it, it, it certainly isn't associated with the same level of protection. Or to get a, a Pfizer or a Moderna after an initial AstraZeneca vaccine, which really does offer uh, enhanced protection, but you do feel a little bit more miserable, certainly the second day. Uh, but for most people, it, it's just one day of feeling that little bit off. For those who are fully vaccinated now, how have things changed? And are they doing anything differently? For the immediate future, I'll still wear masks and social distance and take precautions. My kids aren't eligible for vaccination, so that's kind of my biggest concern right now. And yeah, we, I don't see anything changing for us. In Calgary, Hannah Said, City News.